Of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved one today is ninth day of January and being Monday, Monday after Epiphany. And today the mother just celebrates the baptism of the Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, why today Prophet Isaiah prophesies about the, this baptism? What we should be baptized and what to expect from the person baptized. As I prophesied, thus says the Lord, Behold my servant who I uphold, chosen, in whom my soul delights. You see, for you to receive baptism means God has chosen you, He opposes you, and you, the son of the Lord, delights. That's what Isaiah prophesies. I put my spirit upon him. He said, because my spirit is upon him, he will bring forth justice to the nations. You see, with the spirit of God in him, he will bring justice to the whole nations. So, injustice will disappear. He will not cry or lift up his voice. Or make it hard in the street. A bruised lady will not break. And a dimly born and weak, he will not quench. He will faithfully bring forth justice. He will not fall, fail, or be discouraged. Till he has established justice in the earth. And the islands are with his law. He will not be discouraged. He will not be get down until that is fulfilled. Establish justice on earth. No amount of intimidation will make him to be damned. And he goes, I am the Lord. I've called you in righteousness. I've taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, and to bring out the prisoners from their dungeon. From prison, those who sit in darkness. You see the, the prophecy of Isaiah, Isaiah, Telling us that the nation can be saved. He will save somebody. And maybe when somebody is baptized, this is what you are meant to do. To go and bring light to the nations. To go and save people who are in prison. To go and open the eyes of the blind. To let people who are living in dungeon darkness to have light. That's him who prophesies. And he will not be making noise or shouting left and right. And cannot disturb any person. Be until I achieve the purpose. And that's why today you can see the baptism of the Lord. And that's why today when Jesus came to Jordan, he came to John to be baptized by John. John said, no, I'm the one who needs baptism from you, not you. And Jesus persuaded them and said, look, let's fulfill our righteousness. And with this he persuaded John, John accepted and baptized them. And quite after the baptism of Jesus, we are told the heaven opened. And the Spirit of God came like a, a dove and alighted on him. And the voice came from heaven. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Do you see? That's the son. That's the person that will bring justice to the world. That's the person. No amount of intimidation will stop him. That's the man who will do this justice to the people. In face of injustice. In face of bring security in face of insecurity. Bring riches in face of poverty. Bring education in face of uneducated. 
The man who makes us rich again from poverty. That's the person we are looking for. When you are baptizing God, that's your mission. Complete. Ask yourself, you say you are baptized, is that what you are doing or you are walking against the light? And the voice has witness to that. This is my son whom I well, well delighted. Maybe that voice was had, uh, that op- heaven opened when you were baptized, but you didn't see it. You know, person there to prophesy or interpret for you. And the voice said, They might be lost son, whom I well priest. And they, they could not achieve that. Do you see how it happens? And that the baptism of the Lord reminds us of our own baptism today. I will celebrate the baptism and we will talk about our own baptism. Initiated into God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. So that you go about doing good. Jesus was initiated in baptism today and he went about doing good. Bring good, good news to the poor. Liberating people in bondage. Opening the eyes of the blind. And letting the oppressed go free. That's the mission of a baptized person. I can see that light of baptized person today in Peter will be coming to Nigeria to redeem us, to bring us justice. And no amount of intimidation will make him to shrink back. The island awaits him. All of Nigerians are waiting for him. Whether you are a northerner, whether you are a southerner, whether you are an easterner, every, light, every good person is waiting for this light to come. And come next month, election will be that what we expect to happen. No darkness can overcome him. And as he's a beloved, in his, God is well delighted. He's the person sent to redeem us. So the baptism is to make you an instrument of redemption, not to say to do, undo the work of the evil world, not to support the work of the evil world, or to bring darkness to the people, but light. May God help us understand the baptism of the Lord today, renewing our own baptism, informing us truly what our baptism is all about and what our mission is all about with the baptism. As this, through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us at the dawn of our baptism, dawn on us to bring light to all the nations and deliver people in bondage. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all. Yeah, 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 yeah.